miss me with the bullshit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What's good people it's about that time to randomly relate reverse ranch no hate so i just finished watching ramba ali versus avril matthew looks like matthew have well y'all know who i'm talking about maybe you don't so she just won the ibf super bantamweight championship it was a it was a tough fight it was days back and forth and ramla ali she got the win I thought it was a stretch that they had her up, up by such a big margin, but I definitely felt like she won the fight. So it wasn't a robbery; the right person won, but it was a stretch with the um, with the decision in terms of you know how many rounds they gave her. But nonetheless, she got it done. This is something that I almost talked about. Well, she's someone I almost talked about when they had the last big event where you had Shields and Savannah Marshall and Michaela Mayer and Alicia Baumgartner, that, like that whole card. And I remember thinking, man, you know, it would be nice if Ron Lyle, he was on that card because <clears throat> not only was that a historic night, but the exposure. So she's getting it tonight. Hopefully, you know, she's included on other big cards like that because she is a good fighter. She's punching better now. You know, the commentators knows it as well. I got the sound down right now, so they don't be copyright nonsense and all that. But, um, yeah, they, um, you know, even the commentators noticed. I noticed she was punching harder because she's sitting down on her punches now. And there's times you see, like, she'll throw shots. And you see she does have power, but she normally didn't really sit down on her punches, but she is now. You know, she had a nice little shine on her, uh, on her left eye. You know, and, and, you know, she read the opponent's face up. It was, a, it was a good back and forth fight. And I like what I saw. And I think that Ramla Ali, if, you know, she continued to win and they put on, you know, on these cars to get that exposure, she could become a big star in boxing. She could definitely, definitely do some damage and, 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 and make a really big name for herself. You never know how a person's career is going to go. You don't know what could happen. You could look great tonight, next fight, what happened, you know. Or look bad tonight, next fight, you look great. So, it, it, it you know, things happen. But just, like, looking at things on the positive side, I always thought Ram Lali could fight. And it's like throughout the years, I have never heard people really talk about her at all. So, hopefully for her, you know, tonight, she got more exposure. And that's the great thing about like YouTube, for example, because people who normally don't sit and watch fights might one day just see the replay and go, who is she? And, you know, maybe she'll get attention that way. And just for the female sport side of it in general, because for as long as they've had female fighters, it's still young. You know, you still don't have a, a, a ton of, you know, popular female fighters. You still don't have a, a ton of great female fighters or even really good female fighters. There are some... It's far and few. So, you you know, being a genre, you know, of boxing, just it being a genre, you think people in the sport would be thinking, like, look, let's get all of these talented fighters that we have. Let's make sure we get them the spotlight. You know, they're healthy. They're not injured. They don't have a reason to not be on the card. You know, pay them well. Give them the right opponents. You know, and... You know, the fights that the people want to see and the fights that they need. And, you know, we, we want to see boxing turn around. But, you know, once the money starts to grow more and popularity, you know, um, increases and then it becomes really a big thing. There's always greedy people that come in and decide, nah, how can we make more money? You know, how can we monetize this? I have no boxing now. I don't know the first thing about boxing. But guess what? I have deep pockets. And y'all know how that goes. <clears throat> so... She is now holding the title, and we'll see how much, you know, they talk about her, you know, in the upcoming days and weeks. 
<clears throat> even if I have to single-handedly push her name, make videos and mentions of her and do little things. I try to do that now. I've been just doing a little bit of different things just here and there just to see how things go. Because it hasn't really been enough, a lot going on. But in boxing, I mean, just, you know. So, anyway, this was a, a good fight. And then we'll see what happens later with, you know, Bomb Gardner. See what happens with, um, you know, Serrano. And I will be back with more boxing news. Talk to me in the comment section what y'all think about Ram Lali. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people. And I will catch y'all on the next video.